So I'm going to try and hold this as still as I can while I'm actually filming this. I'm trying to work out how to make a tripod with my knees. Um, we are off to the London Coffee Festival. I say we, Ben is meeting me shortly, there's no one else on this train carriage at the moment. But we're going to go to the London Coffee Festival, try lots of yummy coffee and see some new coffee gadgets. There are a few bits and pieces I really want to look at. I want to get a coffee distribution tool and a tamper for my coffee machine, for my espresso machine. And I also want to just look at some of the distribution, some of the coffee distributors. There are some fantastic independent coffee distributors and roasters and all sorts of people there that I want to go and have a talk to and find out about getting lots of yummy new coffee. You might remember Ben from my most disliked video so far, which was when I taught him how to use the Panasonic GX80. The reason it's most disliked is because actually there's very little in the video in which I explain how to use the GX80. And so people go to it thinking it's a tutorial, and actually it was just a video of a nice evening out with me and Ben and Trudy playing with the camera and learning how to use the settings. There are a few useful photography bits in there, but mostly it's just ramble chat. Um, there is, however, a full how-to series on how to do all sorts of aspects of photography on my channel, which you can find in the link. Um, if you haven't watched that and you're interested in any aspect of photography, there's certainly there's bits on drones, bits on filming, bits on photography, bits on lens choice, composition, all sorts of stuff. Um, so yes, go and have a check of that. But now we're off on our way to London and I'm going to sign off because we're at a station and people are going to get it on and yeah, let's go see what's going on. So Ben, where are we? Yo Sushi. Where, in your, where, where are you Sushi? What? Where are we? Waterloo Station, Yo Sushi. Trick is up here, not on me. Perfect. And are we getting some food before we go to the London Correct. Yeah. Yay! Are we both a little bit broken through lack of food? Correct. Excellent. And we want sushi. Yeah. Perfect. I'm having Coca-Cola because it doesn't have as much caffeine as coffee. I don't want to overdose. Are you looking forward to the coffee? I'm looking forward to the festival, um, but not the sleepless night that will inevitably follow. Yeah. <laughs> Is there anything you want to get at the festival? Uh, pour over dripper with some fancy pour over coffee. Is this a hipster bit of town? I guess it is, yeah. So the whole point of this particular coffee is basically to introduce your average customer to speciality coffee. So the whole point of Lost Sheep is all about making speciality coffee accessible and has been since 2012 when we started. And that's what we want to do with this. So we've gone for what I would call quite, for speciality coffee standards, quite a safe bet, but the general public, this is quite wild for them when you start talking about fermented coffees, they start getting their mind blown a little bit. But that's great because that's why we call it the Curious Coffee. So the Funky Camp is our Curious range, and the Curious range is the range that always have the unusual, more different coffees. Your daily coffee, which is the Smooth Journey one, that's your safe bet. That's your all day, every day, I can have 10 of them a day, I can have one of them a day. This one's the Funky Camper though, and if you want to give it a go, you're more than welcome. <laughs>
more coffee? Yeah. Do you need more coffee? I kind of need to pee and bounce. It's not a good combo. Good coffee though. Yeah. espresso that the guy I think we did a slightly more eloquent version to the camera but he initially described it as appetizer on a kid's bouncy castle which was fantastic and quite unusual for an espresso. Yeah, learnt a lot, talked to lots of people, tried lots of different non-dairy milk options. Um, yeah, it was good. It was really interesting actually. I didn't get my coffee distribution tool mainly because apparently for my size water filter they don't really do one, um, but otherwise, yeah, it was good. Uh, did get a new V60 pour over and got lots of new coffee. So all in all, pretty good haul and I had a good time. So if you want to go and learn more, more about coffee, definitely run the coffee festival is worth going to. Would you recommend it, Ben? I would. Excellent, that's good to know. And thank you very much for watching. If you'd like to see more content like this, please subscribe. If there's anything you'd like to see me talk about, mention it in the comments below. Uh, otherwise, if you'd like, like this video, that'd be lovely, that'd be wonderful, so please like it if you'd like to. And thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.